What's going on, best cot shots? Ba oh, wait. I mean, what's going on, everybody that wants to watch this tutorial? Baker here, and uh, I'm going to be going over an audio tutorial. I haven't seen much of these for uh, After Effects. And um, did you guys know you can actually edit the audio and put effects to that? So uh, here's kind of what I'll be showing you guys today. So I don't know if you can actually hear it with these speakers, but there's a loud boom that Agony uses, and then the music kind of gets muffled. It's like uh, pretty damp, and then it kind of fades back in. So I'll be going over all that stuff. So uh, let's go ahead right into it. I'm going to just go ahead and use the exact same um, setup here. I got my, my audio song, I got my clip, and I already synced up the uh, if you push LL LL a couple times or whatever you get your waveform and I already synced up the song to the uh, sniper shot right here so that's pretty good already so you probably know how to do that already I hope and uh, really quick let me just show you how to do that little uh, lens bend effect that Agony uses so go ahead and type in CC lens and drag that onto your clip and we get this like little orb looking thing and you want to go, if we turn this off really quick, go right before the shot is hit, right about here set a keyframe for the size and let's bring this all the way up to 500 okay? and then we'll move over one frame now bring this down just before you see the black so, see, see we got black here, just put it up right about here move forward about a second, second and a half and just drag this all the way back up to 500. So what that does really quick, if I can uh, preview this, uh, look at somebody, and it just gives that little. Yeah. So let's let's look at this. Pretty cool. A little subtle sometimes, but. CC lens, there it is, you guys. Okay, so let's get into the uh, audio. So I have this explosion dull effect, a little explosion, and um, I'm gonna push LL on the clip so we can see the waveform, and LL on the explosion, and I just want to line this up with this little uh, blip in the audio. That's where the shot is hit. Now, if we listen to this, it's gonna seem not very powerful at all. Can, you can barely hear it. So you can, if you want, raise the audio level to make it louder. But I want to go into a few of the audio effects. So if we go into effect audio, we have a bunch of effects we can choose from. So let's go to bass and treble. And this can control the bass and treble. It's basically the audio levels here. So we're just going to increase the bass, let's say 75, and just decrease the treble a little bit, maybe negative 25. Let's see how that sounds. All right, so we're getting there. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit uh, of another effect. Let's go to a delay, and basically what this is, it pretty much like overlaps itself. So uh, if we decrease the delay time to maybe 100 milliseconds, and the delay amount to 100%, it'll like overlap on itself and be like twice as strong, I guess. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, so that's pretty cool. And now I'm gonna kind of muffle out the audio right after the shot has been hit. So if I look at this shot here, push LL for the song, we're also gonna go to effect audio bass and treble. Okay, so right before the shot is hit, let's set a keyframe for the bass and the treble. And let's move forward a few frames. Set the bass up, let's say about 50, and the treble all the way down to negative 100. So that'll basically muffle out all the high end and sound like it's, uh, well, muffled. And then, so what we can do here is push U to see the keyframes. Move forward, uh, push the little diamonds here to set the same keyframe, and move forward about a second and reset these back to 0 and 0. So what that will do is it'll keep it muffled here. 
and then it'll slowly come back to uh, to normal. Well, let's take a look at that. And there you have it, you guys. Uh, just a couple little audio effects that some of you might not have heard of, but yeah, basically you got bass and treble, got a bunch of stuff in here. So uh, if you want the explosion doll, I'll uh, post a link to that. It's also in my editing pack. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll post a link to that too. And uh, go ahead and download those, you guys. Um, if you like this tutorial, please leave a rating, a thumbs up, maybe a comment would be nice. And uh, enjoy, you guys. Let me know if you have any other tutorial suggestions. Yeah, peace.